Hey, welcome back. It's Friday, September 13th. It's your wizard with the most, the host for today's program. Some opinions and what's happening in the world. We'll give a quick shout out to Diane Wallace for putting a few buckaroos in in the last couple videos. It means a lot to keep this community and content going for 170 plus viewers, more than well more than half of you can't fucking bother to move your thumb and press the thumb up icon on the app. I know this is not a pissing contest, it's YouTube, and it's all about attention and validation, but it'd be nice to be appreciated for telling the truth, getting up on the podium and saying what's happening in the world. And I know there are a lot of old family members who I could care less about. You know that your presence is irrelevant and unneeded at this point in this man's life. So if you could go ahead and buzz off as well, wouldn't bother me. So here we are in 2024. New War on the Drugs album just dropped. If you don't know, they're one of the best indie bands I've heard in years. A particular track, Under the Pressure, which I'll repost on here, encapsulates the feeling of the 2020s being, well, under the pressure, as the title suggests. The whole world is feeling it. Putin from Russia declares war on NATO if the U.S. gives them permission to use long-range weapons. The same forces that killed Osama bin Laden, Navy SEAL, operators are now training for a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. Hezbollah is making moves as we speak. Israel has no plans to stop genocide. The UN conference is a laughingstock at this time. Clearly our CO2 absorption using technology is way below means. I posted a study from Imperial College of London, a prestigious institution dedicated to science and understanding the natural world, said that basically we're upside down. Yeah, we're completely fucked. Not doing any of the recommendations to stabilize or get a control on the climate. Because no one's in control. Yeah, I'm in good spirits, just spent six hours slaving away at work for minimum wage, which, you know, hasn't risen in decades. Still enjoying nature, said what I was going to do, been granted this opportunity. What a life. I'm starting to adjust to the fact that I may never get laid again. It is so desperate and hopeless for many Americans, 78% plus of which living paycheck to paycheck, fucking miserable, full of mental disorders, and illnesses, you can't say more than five sentences, five words to anybody without losing their attention. What am I doing standing up here getting 30 likes and over 170 views for my opinions? Who the fuck cares? It's YouTube. You can make videos about repairing Game Boys and anything, talking about philosophy, mythical creatures, conspiracy theories, QAnon, you know, Marjorie Taylor. Okay, you smoke weed? You drink, you do something to escape, right? Because everything is up for sale. It's America, predatory lending, housing, children, college, you name it, you're in for it. Signed your death sentence in blood for anything you, that's why people just, a lot of my generation just, you know, doom spins and doesn't do uh, commitments because most of the time, see how relationships work out, most of my subs are single. Not because of their choice, necessarily, but because jobs take us here and there. There's no choice of housing. You don't pick. You don't get to pick where you work and where you live. You're lucky. If you do, you must be really well-connected and have a CV that's beyond comprehension, literally. All right, so everybody's working for the dollar. Do you know it costs $243,000 to raise a child in 2024? Plus interest. <laughs> fucking complete lunacy. So back to the world, there's um, a hurricane hit in New Orleans again, I think category two, Baton Rouge, and New Orleans, New Orleans got all fucked up expected California there's like six out of control raging wildfires <sighs> meanwhile Nick climate breeze and Beckwith and them over here I don't even give a shit about Sandy's content I know some of y'all watch it 
talking about solutions and whatnot. Yeah, right. People can't even can't even spell the word climate. So all of you have helped me get to this point. Um, I just choose to not try to participate in as much of the system as I can. There's another channel I'm very much into called, called Machine God Eats. Unfortunately, I think he's a breeder, um, but his take on, he's just recently homeless and choosing to do so because he feels like me and so many Americans, I would say one out of 10 men have enough, and women, have enough courage uh, to say, fuck the system, I'm not going to spend all of my money on rent and fucking electricity, insurance, in case you break your foot or trip, the same. All of it, just in case. You know, I don't mind paying a little insurance for the things that are necessary, but when you add it all up, you're just designed to get fucked, to be a peon. They got the system so worked out that you don't get anywhere. Yeah, it's payday. You know, I get to spend a few money here and there, have a little fun. My coworkers are good. Work is, life is regular. It's not all about work. You know, I want to go to this concert. Another con, Men I Trust is playing. New York, there's a meditation retreat that's like seven or eight hundred dollars. Where the fuck did we like boomer prices come up with this money? Okay, this is what's happening in the around the world. It's still really hot here, gonna be in the 80s, upper 60s all next week. Obviously, the heat wave moved to the east coast. The Arctic amplification or Arctic jet stream is all f fucking crazy lately. It's like you feel it, it's drawing these big gusts of it's not circular, it's more like oval shaped okay i'm exhausted clearly it's been a long day at work we got inventory in and yeah i'm getting adjusted to the fact that in all honesty i'm not self-depreciating i feel strong I'm about to go do like 50 pull-ups uh there ain't nobody around everybody's fucking working all the time you know estranged from their partners single parents drug addicts addicted to netflix i did watch that new rebel ridge movie yesterday pretty entertaining bad boy military dudes ver rambo versus the local cops except this black guy is a badass knows jujitsu and throws this guy over does a lot of action it's fun you know what the hell are we supposed to think as citizens we're just watching this clown show it's beyond repair um my opinions are mine and i share with you guys so it's September 13th, almost October, still blazing hot here in upstate southern tier New York. I've had an enlightening experience in the past two weeks. Had a little reset with a psychedelic experience. I feel much more comfortable. I know you ask, like, what's what's the point of all of this now? And, and the really, you know, the point is to live and just have some fun. Here for a short time, a good time, not a long time. A short and good, you know, that's it. You've heard my rambles. We can't get to 50 likes unless, I don't know, I do a cartwheel and go out and film some 4K footage because you guys can't fucking bother to move your finger. So I'm just gonna post music and whatever the fuck I feel like. I think in over 800 videos, I told the goddamn truth that we are ignorant, disillusioned, retarded, fucking clueless moron apes. I'm at this point where I'm just like, yeah, we're just fucking clueless morons. Most, there's too many of us that are clueless that uh, just turns the whole system sour. We cannot even imagine growing our own food or flipping this paradigm. What even a new set of values would be. The entire meritocracy is a lie. The system that we designed in place, it's, bull it's nasty. It makes people materialistic and selfish. Uh, mental illness, everyone's vaping or addicted to something. Yeah, people ask me a lot lately, like at work and in public, how are you doing? Living in a fucking nightmare. Okay, well then let's gaslight him. Something's wrong with him. No, this fucking sucks. Objectively sucks ass, right? We're getting paid less and paying more for everything while our leaders, leaders aren't doing shit. We have no future. Yeah, I'm living in a fucking cuckoo bonkers nightmare. Hands down, doomed, fucked to the max. Thanks for tuning in. It's been fun. It's September 13th, I'm gonna publish some music and whatever else. Fuck yeah. Talk to you later.